This episode is brought to you by Kern River Fly Shop, located in the beautiful river town of Kernville, California. The Kern River Fly Shop is a fully stocked fly shop for all your fly fishing needs, and everything is online too at kernriverflyshop.com. The Kern River Fly Shop also offers guided trips throughout the Southern Sierra and Sequoia National Forest, both for cold water and warm water species. Kern River Fly Shop also offers guided trips on the Owens River and Crowley Lake in the Eastern Sierra. Don't forget about their guided fly fishing in the surf from Morro Bay to Ventura, California. Also, check out the Guy Jean School of Fly Fishing. They offer fly fishing clinics for beginners to advanced students. They also offer warm water, cold water, and salt water clinics as well. Go to KernRiverFlyShop.com to check everything out and get some great discount offers. KernRiverFlyShop.com Hey you guys, welcome to the Kern River Fly Shop Fishing Report Podcast. Glad to have you guys here. So we got uh, big water still on the Upper Kern River. For those of you that don't know, um, the Upper Kern River has been flowing ginormous uh, all spring. And uh, we're still at uh, 4,300 cubic feet per second in the Kernville area. Um, it's, it's kind of fluctuating between that and 5,000. So for those that don't know, that's big water. Um, the lower Kern River below Lake Isabella, um, they're releasing water because we have so much water in Lake Isabella and uh, they're releasing 6,500 down there. So big water down on the lower Kern as well. People are asking me, you know, when's a good time to come up and fish the upper Kern and, uh, and the lower Kern and, you know, I'm still kind of up in the air on when that's going to happen. We still have lots of snow up in the, in the high country and uh, so it's going to take a little while for that to, to melt because we've been getting cool weather as well. Um, so we're not doing a lot of guiding on the upper Kern or the lower Kern at this point. Uh, most of our focus is on Lake Isabella. Um, the fishing on Lake Isabella has been fantastic. We've been fishing for carp on the fly as well as uh, the bass on the fly. And we've been catching a few catfish as well, um, all on the fly rod, which is kind of fun. So... If you want to experience that, we do have guides that will take you out there and you can experience uh, Lake Isabella on the fly, which is a lot of fun, fishing the flats for the carp and uh, other species as well. Um, if you guys haven't seen Lake Isabella lately, it is full. And to kind of give you guys an idea, um, the water's almost entering the golf course in, in Kernville. So the basically the south end of the golf, the old golf course in Kernville is starting to head into there and it's kind of surrounding the airport, um, getting up towards the airport uh, landing strip up there. And we haven't seen that in many years, so that's kind of fun to see and, and fish as well. Um, south Fork of the Kern, we're still experiencing high flows there. So getting into the high country, um, you can uh, fish a little bit up towards Kennedy Meadows. Uh, the water's starting to clear a little bit up there. It's at 1,500, um, but it is still um, considered high when the water is at 1,500. So we're still getting some snow melt there. Um, the other options that we have are some of the smaller creeks of the Southern Sierra. So we're actually guiding quite a bit on the small creeks. Um, to give you guys an idea, you know, all the creeks are starting to run off and so the flows in the creeks are perfect. They're crystal clear, the wild fish are super stoked right now and they're eating and it's a lot of fun. So we are guiding on the small creeks and that's uh, a great alternative than fishing the river. Um, we do guide on Lake Crowley, so we have that option. Um, if you guys are interested, Lake Crowley is fishing fantastic. And uh, Rob Bueller, one of the guides that works at the shop, he's up there guiding away. And if you guys want to get in on some trophy trout, um, book a trip with us and Rob will take you out there on Lake Crowley. It's a lot of fun. You can get into browns and rainbows and cutthroats. And that's a super fun way to go fishing. Um, surf report. I've been guiding quite a bit in the surf and doing clinics over uh, along the coast and um, we're seeing uh, Corbina starting to move into the Southern California beaches. Um, lots of surf perch, not real big surf perch, but a, you know, pretty good sized surf perch. Um, lots of little guys that we're seeing um, and we're also seeing stripers moving into uh, some of the water. So, um, 
which is kind of cool to see um, and catch. Um, high tide this uh, today is at uh, 9 o'clock-ish and low tides around 2. So um, kind of plan your trip according to those tides and uh, you should have a good time. We're seeing lots of structure. I've been uh, kind of in the Ventura area and we're seeing lots of structure uh, starting to form along the jetties and, and in through all those areas uh, along the south jetty uh, by the harbor and along the the pier area the ventura pier and then going up the coast uh, along emma wood and uh, little rincon and lock and cheetah we're starting to see fish up in that zone as well so it's a great time to get out there um, corbina are starting to move into our beaches in the ventura area they've already started moving into some of the uh, more south beaches and friends are catching them down there and having a good time so we should be seeing them real soon up in uh, the ventura santa barbara area so there you guys have it there's a quick little uh, kern river fly shop fishing report for you and uh tune in next week we'll have one of these coming out every week for you guys and giving you guys all the tips and tricks of the trade and uh we'll talk to you guys soon thanks a lot for listening